So I want to share with you a story. Uh, I think we're easily going to go back here a good like decade to like 2011, 2012 maybe. And this is probably like the peak time for me when I was like very heavily into pickup. Like I was just absorbed into the world of it. I found it so fascinating, the concept of building attraction. And if you do this, you will get that result and so on. And I remember at the time being incredibly obsessed with this idea of creating that perfect approach. Uh, I guess the idea that, you know, whatever conversation that I was going to go into, I would be guaranteed to get a result. And I would put together like the most fascinating kind of concepts and uh, uh, exercises and techniques and things. And it kind of got to a point where every single step of a conversation or, or just interaction in general, I had a strategy for it. But there was a problem with that, though. And this is something that I definitely see with a lot of guys who become very absorbed in the world or concept of pickup or even just, I think, in the realm of day game as well, is that you start overthinking about things that you just don't need to be thinking about. So going back to uh, back to that experience, I found myself then trying to go into interactions and then already overthinking before I was even talking to someone. You know, I was thinking about where, what kind of eye contact was I going to make? Where was I going to look? How was I going to stop? What kind of angle was I going to go around and, and, and stop the girl? And then what was my opener going to be? How was I going to transition that into a conversation? What topics would I talk about? What would be the best way to ask for the number? There would be just a ridiculous amount of overthinking before I've even spoken to the girl. And in fact, because of that, I found it then completely backfired and I actually just couldn't talk to anyone. And this is a problem when you start trying to think like 50 steps ahead before you've even spoken to someone about topics that should be very improvish and just in the moment and vary from person to person rather than it being incredibly calculated it can go horribly wrong. And I found for myself, I couldn't talk to anyone. It had completely set me back, I think, by a couple of years because of not allowing conversations to just naturally develop and instead just overthinking about something. And that's really where the topic of this video comes in. And because I have seen guys just they get so absorbed in the world of pickup or they tend to just overthink things about it. And I'm here to tell you, don't worry about that. It's not what this is actually about. And instead, I want you to consider that actually every kind of conversation should be imperfect. Don't worry about the perfection of every cold approach interaction that you have just worry about being present and enjoying the moment and just have fun interacting with every person that you meet. Don't think about all of the real technicalities of stuff because to be honest, you just have to trust your own judgment. If you go and talk to someone, trust that as long as you feel good about yourself and you have a genuine curiosity about a question, uh, about a person, and you've got questions to ask, you will be absolutely fine. So why do guys tend to, um, to look too much into these small little things that build up a conversation? Well, I, I think the, the main thing really is that they don't trust that the conversation will go well if they throw themselves into that situation. It's kind of like jumping into the deep end in a swimming pool and not necessarily knowing how to swim. You know, it's great then if you can prep yourself for any kind of uh, hazard or, or particular experience or objection that might happen in that conversation, but to start prepping for something that you just don't know what's going to happen in a sense of like you're probably thinking about the worst case scenarios rather than just learning to enjoy it, to embrace that unknown and that fear of uncertainty and that 
every conversation is going to be very different for every woman that you just don't know if she's going to be on the same wavelength as you or not. There is no point stressing about that. I want you to embrace the imperfections of what makes a conversation great. Don't worry if you don't know any kind of topic to think about, call it out. Call out the elephant in the room and say, you know what, Uh, I found you attractive, but my brain's gone flat. I just don't know what to say. That is okay. If you're saying to her, Um, that you're nervous as well. That is absolutely okay. And, you know, when you're new to doing this, the reason why those things are okay is because it just shows that little bit of vulnerability and just shows that you're human, but still taking that initiative, can't talk today, taking that initiative and showing that confidence to her that so many men aren't doing. And I can assure you, she'll give you the time of day. And I say that because I have spent so many years in this industry and I've known coaches who are incredibly confident, have a lot of pride and even some over the years that have had a lot of ego where they kind of like swoop in to go and talk to the women that they've stopped and they think, oh yeah, this is amazing. It's gone really well. Oh, I'm so confident in this. And, you know, yes, they got the phone number, but I can assure you for most of them, they just haven't materialized into anything because the girl has then taken that opportunity afterwards to think like, God, that guy was maybe a bit too confident or a bit too full of himself. Now, don't get me wrong. There are women who certainly love that, you know, but when you're thinking about the concept of branding, there is something for everyone. You know, even the most shyest of guys, if you have the ability to go and talk to a stranger, the likelihood is you're going to find someone who absolutely will go wild for that kind of personality that you've got. You are going to be that guy that she was hoping for, who was going to sweep her off her feet and uh, hopefully woo her into having a relationship or some kind of romance. So embrace the imperfections of cold approaching. Don't worry about making any kind of cold approach perfect. They really don't need to be. And in fact, you will actually get better results by not having them uh, so perfect, embracing some level of chaos that you just don't know where a conversation is going to go. And, you know, even if you go and stop someone and that kind of goes horribly wrong, call it out and say, sorry, you know, what? I didn't know how to stop you, but I just had to because I didn't want to miss the opportunity of saying hi. Any woman would love that. And any woman would love a compliment. And trust me, if you're someone who's nervous or has had an experience where you've given someone a compliment and they didn't like it, I think it says more about them than it does for you. But then I'd also look at how you probably did it too. But point being is just embrace the imperfection. Don't worry about letting it be perfect. Don't worry about trying to think of what to say, how to stop, you know, what kind of topics you've got to talk about, where the eye contact's going to be, uh, how you're going to ask for the phone number and this. You don't need to worry about that. Don't go in with lines and routines and a script. I'd rather you embrace that natural version of yourself and develop your confidence with that. So in months to come, Eventually, you'll get to that point where you'll be able to bring out your own personality, your true self-actualized personality and be that guy that is attractive, that stands out from every other guy who's going to be in the dating industry or pickup industry in general. So I really hope that you can take my advice on board with this. I know it's an easier said than done thing, but from my own experience, it was one of the things that set me back. And I personally had to take a break from the dating industry for a good six or seven months just to reset myself and to kind of forget about all this stupid lines and routines and scripts that I'd learned at the time. So I could actually start having normal, authentic, genuine conversations with people that didn't feel calculated. It didn't feel strategic. And, you know, and I, and I think as well, it's safe to say, like, you know, even with like friends and family and stuff, I, I was thinking in that weird kind of way. And you don't want to be that person 
or hopefully you aren't that person where you're like thinking if you're going to go and see your family member or friend or like a mum or dad or something and you're like right how am I going to go and how am I going to stop my mum how am I going to transition the uh the conversation from this or that what questions am I going to ask what what's the kind of closing am I going to do here it's nonsense you don't do that you wouldn't do that with friends or family so I hope you take my advice on board. I don't want it to interfere with your personal development journey and certainly to reach self-actualization, which is just going to be bringing out that best version of you. I want you to be very genuine and I want you to be authentic and I want you to stand out from every other guy who is going out and practicing their cold approach skills. So I'd love it if you could leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And have you found yourself in any kind of experience where actually learning lines and routines and scripts has actually backfired for you as well, just as it had for me and where I had to take a break? And other than that, I'd love it. Absolutely love it. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, if you can subscribe, like the video as well, I'd love to be able to reach more guys. And the way in how I can do that is to get more of you certainly engaging in not just my channel, but in my videos too. And if you've got also ideas for further videos to specifically help you with problems that you've got, then as well, by all means, share them in the comments below. I'd absolutely love to see them. But other than that, my name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And if you need help with anything as well, by all means, reach out to me for a free consultation as well.